Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about subatomic particles. The atom is composed of three subatomic particles. That means particles that are smaller than the atom. These three particles are protons, neutrons, and electrons. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we will learn the location and mass of the proton, neutron, and electron. Then we will learn how to describe atoms of different elements using two numbers, the atomic number and the mass number. At the end of the video, there will be a few problems so we can check your understanding. So the atom has three particles. The proton and neutron are in the nucleus, and they have the same mass, about 1.67 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. This is more commonly expressed in atomic mass units, or AMU. The mass of a proton and the mass of the neutron are the same in this scale, 1 AMU. The protons are positively charged, and the neutrons have no charge. The rest of the atom is mostly empty space, with the electrons flying around the outside of the nucleus. The electrons are tiny compared to the other particles, with an actual mass of 9.10 times 10 to the negative 29 grams. But on the AMU scale, they have a mass of 0 AMU, and they have a negative charge. Elements are distinguishable by their atoms, and it's the number of protons that makes an element unique from another element. All atoms of the same element have the same number of protons. The number of protons in the nucleus is defined by the atomic number, and we find that on the periodic table here. So sodium has 11 protons, and carbon has 6 protons. Atoms can lose or gain electrons, but in a neutral atom, that is when the atom does not have an overall charge, the number of electrons will equal the number of protons. The other important number is the mass number. The mass number is the mass of an atom in AMU. It's equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. The mass number isn't on the periodic table, but we can estimate it using this number with all these decimal places. This is the atomic weight, and we'll learn about it in the next video. For now, just round this to the nearest whole number, and that's the mass number of the most common form of that element. We can use this number to determine the number of neutrons in an atom. Since the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, we can subtract the number of protons, that's the atomic number, from the mass number to determine the number of neutrons. For example, we could ask, how many neutrons does a phosphorus atom have? Well, round this number to 31, that's the mass number of the most common type of phosphorus, subtract the atomic number of 15, and we get 16. So phosphorus has 16 neutrons. We'll learn in the next video that an element can have different types of atoms depending on the number of neutrons, and we call those different types of atoms isotopes. This is why the atomic weight isn't a whole number. It averages the mass of all the different isotopes. In this video, we learned that a proton has a mass of 1 AMU and it has a positive charge. A neutron has a mass of 1 AMU and it has no charge. An electron has a mass of 0 AMU and it has a negative charge. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Thanks for watching. You can support the science classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.